Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an auto sign in with a controller on your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So before we get too far in today's video, just explain what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be linking your account to a controller. So that means when you turn on your controller, it will automatically link up your account and automatically sign you in. This can save a lot of time in the sign in process. So the first thing you're going to be doing for today's video is having your Xbox on, be on your dashboard. We're going to be clicking the Y button and we're going to be searching for settings. Once your settings shows up, we're going to be coming up here and we're going to be selecting the app right now. And when we're first brought here, we're going to be brought to the general tab. What we're going to be doing is coming over here to the left and we're going to be coming down to the device devices and connections. We're going to be coming in here to the right and we're going to be selecting the first option here called accessories. Once we select this open, we should be able to see a list of all currently connected Xbox accessories, or in this case, I currently have two controllers connected. And if I click to the right, you'll see my second Xbox controller. To know which is which, what you can do is select the controller, click on the three dots, and we're going to be coming down here to the buzz option. If we click it, it'll identify which controller is which. So in this case, I actually want to select my other controller, and this is the one I'm going to use to verify I'm just going to be buzzing it again. And this is the controller I want to connect and have all auto signed in. So once you've identified your controller, we can actually stay in this menu. And here we have a couple of different things. We have our firmware version, which for me is up to date. We have assigned to, we have this controller signs in, we have buzz and we have autopilot. This controller signs in, however, is set to nobody. And this is what we can actually set up. So if we click this option open, here we'll first have to enter your pass key if you have one for your account. And then you'll be brought to this screen, which is basically the sign in security and pass key for the user accounts. So the first thing we can do is turn on instant sign in. So if you want to instantly sign into an account, regardless of the controller, you can do that here. Or you can set up this controller signs in, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So we can actually click A again. And here we can link the controller to the account we're currently logged in with. So in my case, since we already have the controller connected to my user account, I can simply link the controller. And this means this controller is always going to be linked to my account. Account. So even the next time you turn on your console, it will automatically load up and sign in as you because you have this controller connected and it saves a little bit of time and makes it a little bit easier to do. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to link a controller to an account on your Xbox Series X or your Xbox Series S. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.